Who the uh... Okay, wait until I get now to the at the end of the session, Paul. I said wait until I'm done. We don't use fibs. We don't use any fibs, uh, Paul. We don't use fibs. We don't use uh, trend lines. We don't use anything. Just the price action. Okay. Now let's look at the dollar yen. This is a classic. This is uh, I don't know. Uh, I think one of the uh, Yvonne on the floor on the on our trading floor yesterday uh, last week was <laughs> was calling it the 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 dollar yen the face the faithful pair that moves faithfully from one point to another. It was a classic remark and I loved it. Uh, again, as you know, we have the structure point the eighty one twelve. I will tell you as soon as I'm done, Liam. Okay, I might as well tell you now so you can follow up with us. A long point or a short point is a point where you can buy. Okay, oh, hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second, guys. Liam, there is a... On the website, when you go to the recording, there is a, an FAQ recorded session about 45 minutes that answers all these questions. So there's nothing to be sorry about, my friend. I'll explain it to you. But wait until I'm finished. Uh, so the long point or the short point is where you go long or you go short. The structural point is a, a trend-changing point. So you need to jump in. This is where you definitely have to buy. Okay? And you would see them on the chart. The green lines is a buy point. The, 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 these dotted lines, the CN lines are the structure points of the structure values. So the dollar yen, we have a structure value, a structure point from last week, which is the 8112. And if you look at the uh, radar screen we had here, we had a short point of 8112 and it was also the structure point so we had one short entry last week which was a common point between the structure point and the short point were one and the same and once this happens we use a very tight stop right above right above the 81 the, the these entries so we keep a very tight point and as you see we had the selling point here from last week we went short on the third right after the first day of the week after we did the session that day it broke the 8112 and it traded all the way down to the next structural point which is the 79 58 and the 7958 was the flipping point here which was the structural point that we took here as a buy from the low that was done in March 17th that here that 7958 right there right there was the start of this big reversal point and the same behavior happened this we came down the low that we set on Thursday was 59.56 which is about two or three pips from the point and that is good enough this is as you all know a, a very large market so you cannot be as precise so this is as good as it gets and we did have the big snap back that took us above the second structural point which is the 8140 so my bias right here is now to be long the US dollar and short the Japanese yen and when we looked at the index and this somebody was asking why are we doing the indices and not the crosses we can identify the sell signals and the buy signals. 
I told you that we had a cell signal on the Japanese yen and this here now is another confirmation and the more confirmations I have the stronger my buy or sell signal and the more confidence that I have in the signal that I'm going to be trading so here that is an additional confirmation why it came to the structural point it bounced back up it went above the second structure point so it's a second buy signal so you have two buy signals now I also have a sell signal on the Japanese yen index so right here if I have to take a trade right now I will be buying the dollar yen at 80.58 and I will be placing my stop below the 80.24 I am risking 24 pips or, or 30 pips on that trade it is a very low risk trade I do not have any sell signal as of yet on the dollar yen so I will be looking primarily to be a buyer and keep in mind that the dollar is if we begin to get the continuation of the short covering we should get strong moves in the dollar so you have to believe in it and give it a little bit time for it to work now if I'm going to look at the intraday you can see of course this is our structural point and guys for the new guys that are joining us today Liam and uh, uh, Salwan and put a line like this with the buy signal and the sell signal so if I tell you I have a structure point of 81.12 put a line there so when the prices comes and trades below it here you know that this is where you have to sell this here you have to sell this is how you trade so right here you have a short and you can see that right here you have another short and you can take the short down here there is another line so you have a buy this is how you make your decision very quickly so with this we are very clear our trade is by identifying our structure points our trade is very clear so we are only going to short the yen the dollar yen below 8020 and if I do I'm going to place my stop above 8040 so I'm risking about 20 pips on that on my short as far as my buy signal is if I'm going to wait until the next session I am going to be buying it above the 8080 and I'm going to place my stop below the market side which is the 8052 so draw these lines guys on your screen and save them because this is how we're going to be taking the trades so I'm going to be I'm going to buy the dollar yen above 8080 and if that's the case I'm placing my stop below 80 uh, 52 or 54 yeah 8052 my is long 52 and I'm, o I'm only going to go short below 80.20 and I'm going to place my stop at above 80.45 my short stop is 80.45 my structure long to the upside is now the 8112 so it was a structure short last week now it is going to be my structure long and my structure short now is going to be the 8024 this is where I'm going to oops I made a mistake here 
So if my short point is my structure point, then this has to be my stop. Now I'm going. Uh, what we usually do in the room here, guys, I use the same stop here, but you can use it as a, a put an additional 20 pips on it. So to add it up, to sum it up, I mean, we're going to buy the dollar yen above 8080, and my structure long is the 8112. And if I buy it at 8080, my stop is at 8052. I will go short the dollar yen only below 8020. It is also my structural short point, so it's a big short point. I want to take it, and if I do, we usually put that as our stop. You can give it an additional 10 or 20 pips above it, but it is we don't allow it much room above the 80 20 and this is the dollar yen now i'm going to stop the recording